we're going to start off by using the diagram which is kind of the, a representative of that that you'll find in the books so if we have a look at that we'll just label up some aspects of it so here is our facial nerve root and it's coming through a foramen here and that foramen is going to be the internal acoustic meatus now the facial nerve has a sensory root and a motor root the sensory root is also known as nervous intermedius so don't forget that notice that the nerve comes together and at this point here we have a swelling because of the sensory nerves contained within the facial nerve and this is called the geniculate ganglion and we have a nerve here which you don't need to know but it does become important for parasympathetics this is called the greater petrosal nerve down here we have our motor root down here this is going to be what we call nerve nerve to stapedius that's a muscle in the ear here we have our corda tympani nerve which is how the facial nerve here communicates with this nerve which is the lingual nerve and belongs to cranial nerve 5 of course and V3 and so this would be part of the mandibular division coming down through foramen ovale splitting into the inferior alveolar and the lingual but the corda tympani only making communication with the lingual and from here we can see how those fibers join so let's clear away the labels and let's put on a key that will represent our nerve fibers so we're going to have up here we're going to have sensory in red we are going to have our motor in blue and we're going to have our parasympathetic in green so let's start off with our sensory information our sensory information is actually going to be coming from the tongue and it's going to travel from the tongue and let's just say that the tongue is somewhere here it's going to travel up with the lingual nerve travel all the way back through corda tympani up the motor route and then eventually up the sensory route like so. So that's our sensory information coming from the anterior two-thirds of tongue. Remember that the general sensation coming from the anterior two-thirds of the tongue is trigeminal. We are dealing with taste, a special sensation of taste. Next we have our motor branches. These have been coming in the other direction, coming through the motor route. They're going to travel down here and eventually they're going to travel all the way down through a foramen here called the stylomastoid foramen. And from there we have our branches of the facial nerve. There's five of them. Try and fit them all on.
expression. Our parasympathetics, of course, are coming down supposedly with nervous intermediates. I mean, who, who knew? Um, Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.